Today I'm going to show you how to install and use Wii Flow on your Wii and your Wii. Now I'm going to be doing this tutorial on my Wii U, but the process is the same. So you can follow along for both consoles. What Wii Flow allows you to do is play Wii games from a SD card or USB drive. So compared to the popular USB Loader GX, you're able to play games off an SD card so you don't even need a USB drive for this tutorial. But you still have that option to use one. So all you need for this tutorial is your homebrewed Wii or Wii U. You need an SD card that you use to homebrew it or a USB drive. So if you go to the first link in the description, it should take you to this Wii guide for Wii Flow. And this picture is Wii Flow Lite, but this is the regular uh, Wii Flow. So just click on Wii Flow Lite and it should download in the bottom left. And then we're gonna download CIOS installer as well. Now, most of you probably already have this as I went through this in my homebrew tutorial on both the Wii and Wii U. But if not, uh, I'm gonna run through it again. So uh, just click on the D2X CIOS installer and it should also download. And then once you have both of those files, uh, pull up the SD card you used to mod your Wii U. And then we're gonna open up that Wii Flow file, the zip file. You'll need WinRAR or 7-zip to extract this. And then all you're gonna do is drag these files onto the root of your SD card. Let those transfer over, and once they are, you should see Wii Flow on the root with these with these folders. And then in your apps folder, you should see Wii Flow with these folders and files. Next up, D2X CIOS installer. So open up that WinRAR file and just drag the apps folder onto the root of your SD card. And I already have them, so I'm just gonna skip these files. But once that's transferred on, you go into your apps and you should see D2X CIOS installer with these files right here. And if you plan on having your games on the SD card like I do, we're going to create a WBFS folder right on the root of your SD card. So just create a new folder called WBFS. This is where we're going to put our Wii games. So open it up. And then I'm just going to add some WBFS Wii games that I have backed up. I can't show you where to get these ROMs, but uh, there are ways if you look it up, you're on your own for that. But the setup for these folders uh, are the name with the game ID, make sure it's the correct region as well for the game ID, and then inside the file is a WBFS file with the name of the game ID. But once you have your games in your WBFS folder, your Wii Flow on your root, and your Wii Flow and D2X CIOS installer in your apps folder you are ready to go over to the Wii U or your Wii, whichever one you're doing. So I'll meet you over there. Now I'm over on my Wii U, so I'm gonna go into the Wii menu. Uh, if you're doing it on the Wii, um, you're already there. So wait for me. And on your Wii menu, just go into the homebrew channel, start it up. Did you know that you can pop these bubbles? Fun fact with Funky Scott. <laughs> Very fun. Okay, once your apps are loaded, uh, before you run Wii Flow, you need to do D2X the iOS installer. So load that up. Just bring it here. So in the settings, uh, just use the D-pad and go right all the way to beta 52 VWI. You can leave the base at 56 and the slot at 249. You do need internet connection for this. You can do it an offline method, which under notes, it's uh, downloadable with Nusty. Uh, but I'm using the internet. Now if you're on Wii, the process will be a little bit different. I'll put up on the screen which installation settings you need. There'll be three different installs, just like we're gonna be doing on the Wii U, but instead of following the video, just follow these pictures for installing yours. But anyways, back to the Wii U settings. So just click A and it should do its thing. And then once it's done, just click A to continue. And then when you're back on this screen, just change the base to 57 and the slot to 250. And then click A and it'll install this one. And then when it's done, just click A to continue. And then lastly, just change the base to 58 and the slot to 251 and press A to start that one. And success. Uh, so here you can just press B to exit. We are all done with this app. So once you're back at the homebrew channel, we're ready to go into Wii Flow. So find the app and load it up. Done. And here's our games. So I have three games on here. New Super Mario Bros, 
I believe this one is for Wii Play and Wii Sports. So I'll just give you a quick rundown on how Wii Flow works. So when you select a game, uh, it'll give you these options. You can favorite it, and you can add it to a category. Super Mario Brothers. Wow, that is loud. Uh, you can select whichever category and go back. Uh, these settings here are only for the game you have selected. So there's nothing you need to change, but if you ever do want to change anything, if you click settings on a selected game, it'll only change settings for that specific game. Whereas if you go back, these settings, oops, these settings are for Wii Flow. If you want to download covers and banners, just click go and you can download them, but you'll need internet access, which you should already have if you got CIOS installer. Go back, um, if you click the star, uh, it'll show you that your favorites, which it's just all new Super Mario Bros. Wii. <laughs> click this disc icon here, uh, you can play straight from your disc drive. But let's test out the game and see if it works. So press play, and it should load up. Here we go, just like that. You're playing Wii games off of your SD card instead of a USB drive, which is very helpful on Wii U. But now that we know it works, we can uh, we can head back to the menu. Now, if you'd be interested in a Wii Flow forwarder channel on your Wii menu, um, I'll be posting a video about that in the future, so subscribe and keep your eye out for that. But anyways, that's it for the video. I hope you found it helpful, and if you did, please leave a like. Um, if you had any issues, comment, or you can join my Discord, which is linked below. But anyways, I will see you on the next one. Take care.